smaller flowers like this one. So I turn this over. And I haven't clipped that piece yet. As you can probably see. But like with smaller ones like this, once you clip that piece down like I showed you, you know, once you clip this down right here, and then you glue like, you can glue like a very, very small, like square piece of velvet. Why am I saying velvet? Uh, felt if you want to. Or you can do like the strip, use it as a guide, and then just go above it like that if you want to. So you'll still have some room. Instead of just just kind of experiment to see what works for you, and you know, cause like each flower is different, and I've been working with these for like years. I've been making flowers for years. I have like a lot of flowers. Like this one I wore in my last video, one of my last videos. This gold one kind of came apart. Cause see that other part was real short, so I'm gonna have to reglue it. I mean, that's how it looks now, so I have to glue that little piece back on. So let me show you just a few more that I've done. Let's see. All right, y'all. This is another flower that I made. Hey, you really can't see it. See, I just glued the uh, leaf on the back of that. And you can use whatever you find, and you can just trim the end off of that if you want to. See, it has a little, that little back like that on there. I really like these backs. This is like one of the first ones I've ever did. Which was years ago. <laughs> you can see I left like the leaves on there. It's kind of sloppy, but it's the beginning, so hey. And I even had glitter. Everything sprayed on there. It was some glitter spray. But this was a... A pendant because I have the pin backs for that. Put it on your shirt or whatever. Use um, you use the same method. Mm, this is one. This one is a little more challenging because of the way it's made, but I found a way to make it work. This is another huge flower. And as you can see, I didn't leave enough back here. So that came off. Well, no, wait. Yeah. I didn't leave enough right there. So I, that came off. And this is like the back part. But I have to glue back on it. That's why, you, that's why I say you have to be careful. It's another one. One of my favorites. I usually wear them in twos. I don't know where the oh, here's the other one. So I usually wear them in twos like you know, side by side like that. This is um one that I made. Of course purple is my favorite is color. And I made this one in two. shirt pendant or whatever you want to call it a pendant <laughs> flower pendant yeah <laughs> I made this one into a flower pendant because I wanted something pretty that I could wear you know with my cute little jackets or shirts or whatever just pin that up there like that what I wear with the flower up here maybe you know as long as it coordinates make it do what it do If you've seen some of my um, October 31st pictures on my MySpace page, you saw I was wearing this with my um, Missionary Ugly Betty costume on. These are just like a few more I made. I can just show real quick. That's one. I know some people really don't like big flowers, but I like big flowers. This is another one. I put that glitter on here. It was some, um, let's see if I can get you to really see it. They 
get the idea. Yeah, this is another one with the glitter on it. And another one. Had glitter on it. Right in the center. This is a rose. And roses are kind of challenging to work with because of the way they come up like that. But, you know, if you get it pinned right, it'll work. And this is another flower. 